And now I would like to invite Dr. Nargendra Reddy. He is the advisor to the Arogya Shri scheme of the Andhra Pradesh government, and he is also a member in the state study group on Ayushman Bharat. Please put your hands together for Dr. Reddy. We would love to hear from uh, him the experience that he has had uh, when it comes to government initiatives in uh, Andhra Pradesh. Please put your hands together for Dr. Reddy. Good morning, friends, and I think uh, I am an orthopedic surgeon and uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, work in the orthopedics. At the same time, we have the main aim of uh, today's program is uh, the rural health. So if you see the programs, what are coming from the state of Andhra Pradesh, which has been uh, the uh, gold standard Arogya Sri, now which has been uh, taken up in entire India as Ayushman Bharat. It has been started in uh, 2007 in uh, Andhra Pradesh. 108, if you see 108 which has been started in Andhra Pradesh by the late CM uh, Rajshekar Reddy. Today I just want to talk about a unique program which has been shaping up in Andhra Pradesh which is going to help the rural population. Rural population if you see the people who are going to PHCs, people who are going to community health centers, people when required, they are coming to the, the district office, hospitals or to the government general hospital at the uh, district levels. We are doing a study. The next, next important program which is being launched in Andhra Pradesh is any disease, any disease which costs more than 1,000 rupees should be free to any patient entire Andhra Pradesh. You can imagine the mammoth amount of uh, funds involved in this. This is one of the promises made by the government of Andhra Pradesh that they are going to bring any patient whose medical expenses crosses 1000 rupees or more is being given free of cost. What is being done to understand this uh, program as a pilot project we started examining what is the number of percentage of population whose medical care is crossing more than 1000 rupees. If you are in Delhi I think a consultation itself may cost 1000 rupees. So if you go to the peripheries, we have seen the project in the district of Guntur in Andhra Pradesh. We started doing this pilot project. 30% of the people who are hitting the hospitals are only going to the government general hospitals, PSCs and other government facilities. The rest 70%, where is it distributed? This 70% is distributed with the hospitals with the bed strengths. This, 50, this 70 percent is distributed with the doctors who are practicing in the clinics and there are some group of people who are going to the what you call the RMPs, quacks and different sector of people. There is about 20 to 25 percent of people who are not even going to a MBBS doctor. So this is the percentage of people who are going to different health levels. When we have seen the OP cost of these OPs, it is coming around 2,400 rupees, 2,400 crores of rupees is required just to maintain an OP of 1,000 rupees and above. So how we are planning to go about with this is, we want to bring about the emergency health credit cards. The government, we have given a proposal of bringing a credit card. We know we are using our credit cards. Wherever we go without money, we use the credit cards. The concept of bringing a health credit card which can be given to the very poor population or rural population, which can be given from the government of any state, so that the patient, in case of emergency, in case of time when he requires more money for his health care, he can use this health credit card, the finance of which is done by the state of any state, whoever wants to take this point. Because most of the rural care are happy with their fever, cough, back pains, arthritic pains, they're happy with the PHCs, they're happy with the doctors in and around. Especially when they get a dengue fever, they can get treatment. But once you get a dengue septic shock, that is a scenario where the poor is becoming or the rural population is becoming very difficult for them to manage the expenses what they are getting now. So that is the type when the people, poor, rural, rural people, their access to the healthcare is less. And you can imagine when it comes in the case of emergency medical care, it's become very difficult for them to come. We have studied a PHC in Srikakulam, which is far in the agency areas where the people travel around 30 kilometers to 40 kilometers to reach a primary health care. 
So this study has given a highlight. The Sujata Rao Committee, who is the ex-principal secretary of health, she is now studying about this, uh, bringing this rural health program. It can be done by putting more money in the infrastructure, development of infrastructure. If you see, Aishman Bharat has sanctioned 6,000 crores for this project. The same thing in Andhra Pradesh, for the scheme of Arogishri, the government has sanctioned 2,000 crores. A state with 13 districts has sanctioned 13, uh, 2,000 crores when compared to the 29 states where the government of India has sanctioned 6,000 crores. So bringing every patient, every rural patient to the proper medical care is possible by giving an affordable care, bringing the infrastructure. We were talking about infrastructure. How to bring an infrastructure? We have to put finance into the infrastructure. In this budget, we have put around 1,750 crores only for the infrastructure development. You can imagine every district is getting around 50, 150 crores of rupees to upbring the infrastructure. That means primary centers and the manpower. I have just studied about the doctors. 87 PhDs have been traveled and talked to the doctors, all our friends who are in the PhDs. Only two of them are staying in the PhD area. Rest 85 are traveling back to their districts or particular headquarters. I have taken a questionnaire and asked them, the first and foremost thing what they are expecting is a lack of infrastructure. If a seizure comes, if an emergency care comes to my hospital, how to handle this, this situation? So better than that, I just stay till my time and go back. In case of emergency, the sister or the nurse who is sitting there, they are referring the case to the periphery. So without increasing the safety for the working atmosphere of a doctor, you can't force on to doctor that every rural care is given safe hands. So other point what they given is, uh, wives don't want to stay in the rural area. Even my wife doesn't want to stay in a place where she feels that the education of children is hampered. Their children are not getting educated. So the traveling facilities, the accommodation facilities should be given to the rural doctors. More than the doctors who are staying in the, in the centers, the doctors who are working in the periphery should be given more incentives. If they are working for eight hours, we sh they should get the double the salary what the people are working at the city level. Other one is lack of personal life. I have heard from other speaker, he told better about the personal life of the doctors. The average health of a doctor is 10 years less than the average Indian. This was the study which was put forward and we have seen a lot of groups. So doctors are dying earlier than the patients. So it's better that we should also keep stress-free ourselves and uh, uh, give a good output because doctor's health is also more important to give a good output. With these points, I want to say we are almost in a uh, near to get a solution for the rural health. The, the pilot project we are going to launch in two districts in Andhra Pradesh where we are going to get every procedure, which is more than 1,000 rupees, should be paid for the pocket of government of Andhra Pradesh. We hope that it works, and that may be uh, the future touch bearer for the rest of the uh, health programs in India. Thank you. Thank you very much. In the category of the most promising single specialty center for orthopedics in Guntur, the award goes to Saib Haskar Center for Joint Replacement. Please welcome on stage Dr. B. Narendra Reddy, Managing Director of Saib Haskar Center for Joint Replacement, 